Hi guys, it's uh, Gino Nomad for your weekly Judo travel video. So I'm here in a, a city of Judo called Kilis. I think it's the only city in the world that is called Judo City. Uh, it's going to be very special, but I will let my host on the people that helped me introduce you what is very special about the city. First, we go to Judo, so it will be a mix of Turkish kids and Syrian kids. We call them refugee, but most of them live here already since quite a long time. Anyway, I'm not the good one to talk about that, so just after the judo, the right people will explain what is the situation here, and you will maybe have a chance to have one shot of drone, because drone is kind of prohibited since we're close from the border of Syria and there is some conflict here, but maybe somehow I can get it. So, I let you watch the video, I hope you will enjoy, and please feel free to comment, that will just help to make that video grow. Okay, so I told you I will let people speak for me. So today we are with uh, Hussein, the creator of uh, that judo project. So he will tell you everything, like um, since when this project uh, started and what is it exactly. So you will understand fully what it is. Hello, my name is Eugene Ackman. I'm the chairman of the NGO KitKats. And uh, as you know, uh, in 2011, there are lots of uh, Syrian refugees came to Turkey. Uh, I guess 4.5 million refugees uh, come through Turkey and 1 million Syrians passed through uh, Kilis. And uh, mostly the population of uh, our small city is now 60% Syrian refugees and 40% uh, Turkish citizens. And that's why we want to uh, create a social cohesion between two nations and that's why uh, we create an idea uh, about uh, social cohesion by sports and arts and uh, we use judo for this as a good sport branch because everybody loves judo after 2008 we uh, started to write lots of projects about uh, social cohesion and we implemented seven uh, great organizations uh, about judo and mostly these organizations are very international and there are lots of uh, countries uh, attend these tournaments and championships. And uh, the number of the judoka is, uh, are very uh, increasing uh, suddenly. And uh, we did a great job in Kilis and we got the children award uh, from IGF uh, last year. And uh, it was very perfect thing that we help people, we help children, we help women, we help everybody about uh, social cohesion. And uh, we are continuing to our uh, activities and tournaments again and again by supporting. Also in 11 uh, years past, uh, they are living uh, with us and uh, we never want them uh, any integration because uh, integration is very really different from social cohesion. If they, if we integrate them, uh, they have to speak Turkish. They have to learn our culture, uh, our education system. But social cohesion makes our lives very easy and to live together uh, with them. And I want to thank to uh, Mr. Wizer, Marius Wizer, the IGF president, and his team. They are great. They help a lot to us. And uh, if, we are, if we have a good job here, uh, the reason is uh, they support us uh, very well. Thank you very much. So now the reason why I came here uh, started. So I'm at the training now and there is some problem. Uh, the Syrian kid that come actually from Syria with the coach are stuck at the border. So we're waiting a little bit. Meanwhile, there is the other kids, uh, Turkish and some Syrian uh, kids that are refugees now and live here. Uh, started the training, so we're waiting for all of them and uh, we're going to start. 
By the way, I don't have much to show you about the city because this is not a touristic city. This is not even like a dormitory city or something like that. This is a refugee city. It has, uh, it said earlier, 60% of people here are uh, refugee from Syria. So there's not much to show, but there is history here and uh, very nice things that happen. So let's go for judo and then the next day I will have to go to Istanbul to fix the drone because unfortunately I crashed the drone. Actually I don't exactly know why because something like this never happened but it could have risen with the military occupation here that maybe the frequency got mm, broken, I don't know, something like that but I just lost all connection and the drone just went in the wall while it should just land. So this is very weird, but I will see what the people say. So I just have to correct what I said yesterday about this because I misunderstood. So he didn't went to pick up the Syrian kids at the, um, at the border yesterday. He went to train them. I thought that he went there to bring them here, which is weird actually. So no, he didn't uh, go there to bring them. And uh, the fact is that there is a lot of Syrian kids, but it's summer now, so they have to work at the market, at the shop, at the restaurant, and so they need permission. So we're waiting now to see if they will have the permission or not. Merhaba, benim adım Mehmet Türkkan. E, Kilis'te judo yardımcı, judo antrenörüyüm. E, 2010 yılından beri şehrimizde judo yapılmaktadır. 100 Türk sporcumuz, 60 Suriyeli sporcumuz bulunmaktadır. E, Suriyeliler içerisinde, e, Suriyeliler ile uyum içerisinde birlikte yaşayıp git, e, gitmekteyiz. Bu bize, bence bu güzel bir şey. E, Türk sporcularımızda Türkiye'de derece yapanlar, Türkiye şampiyonlarımız mevcut. Ee, Suriyeli kardeşlerimiz arasında da derece yapanlarımız vardır. Ayağım Mahmut Ramazan. Yaşım 15. Suriye'den geldim. Cüde yazıldım. 5 yıl belli yazıyorum Cüde'ye. Ee, Ortaokuldan başladım. Mehmet Hoca e, gördüm. Genç merkezler çok seviyorum Mehmet Hoca ve Liz Hoca ve Orkaş Hoca. Ben hocalar çok seviyorum Cüda. Onlar bana sevdiklerin için ben buraya geliyorum. Türk arkadaşlar da var. Onlar da istediler ben buraya gelmek için. Yapmak için Cüda. Ee, maçlara gidiyorum. Hep medal alıyorum bazen. Kazanıyorum. Ee, şükran. So it's not like in the other countries and cities that I usually try to show you a lot of the city. As I told you yesterday, there is not much touristic uh, information to give here. Though here is the olive tree and the big city of Kilis behind, which is 300 million people. Yeah, 300 million people, as I said, 60% refugee, 40% Turkish. And I will show you something. Do you know what's the name of the mosque here? The name of the mosque that is just here is Sheikh Mohammed. And so we're right close from the border and from here we can see actually Syria. So I will try to show you with the video. So 
here we are just on the other side and look at this. So basically behind <clears throat> those olive tree, oops, somewhere over there, there is the Turkish flag and there is the border just there. And what you can see behind is actually Syria. And so yeah, there is the border and I will try something. <laughs> Nah, you don't want to come, but yeah, basically we have water and that's set some, somehow for humanity, I believe. The cats don't. So, yeah, alright, so that's it for this video, I think. And this was a nice time, like very surprising city, and I hope that you enjoy the work that people have been doing here. I see you next time in Ankara, Istanbul, or Georgia. I don't know yet. Comment this video to help it grow.